Community leaders are saying Ohio's current efforts to solve the opioid crisis are not enough. They claim more Ohioans under 50 are dying from heroin and fentanyl overdoses than from car crashes, gun violence, and breast cancer combined. But new legislation this fall could refocus efforts. Here's Ohio State House Newsroom reporter Jason Aubrey. The group says Governor Kasich's opioid action team is a temporary solution that lacks focus, and they're proposing a shift from what they see currently as a reactionary approach to a more proactive one. According to the CDC, 5,322 people a year or 14 people a day are dying in Ohio of overdose, which is three times the national average. According to congressional studies, Ohio's current efforts will not be enough to slow the historic number of opioid overdose deaths. State Representative Richard Brown plans to introduce a bill later this fall after the election calling for the creation of a cabinet level position to oversee an office of drug policy. We cannot hide our heads in the sand any longer. As much as we want to, we can't. We need someone that can help us. Both gubernatorial candidates have been approached with this idea, and according to Brown, both have shown interest in doing something like this. Dayton Mayor Nan Whaley says it's crucial. Legitimately, lives are at stake here, and so having a cabinet-level position will help that and help coordinate that in a way that we can be more effective with dollars and save lives. Governor Kasich's office had this to say in part about the claims. Our comprehensive strategy has invested $1 billion each year into Ohio communities, led to record levels of drug interdiction by the State Highway Patrol, created an anti-drug program for schools and parents across Ohio, and rolled out new prescription drug rules, which have resulted in a six-year low and the number of prescription opiate deaths. The full statement and more on their perspective can be found in my story online. At the State House, Jason Aubrey, WKBN 27 First News.